This is a guitar. Don't believe me? Well, let me just whip this thing out. Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to Guitar Stuff with John. Um, as you well know, if you've watched this channel at all, you know that I'm a huge fan of Yamaha. And uh, there's a re there's many, actually there's many reasons for it, uh, mostly because of their acoustic guitars. So I just absolutely love their instruments. But Yamaha is a very unique company. They trade in innovation. And over the years, they've come up with some pretty cutting-edge stuff. Uh, what I'm going to show you inside this bag right now is one of those things. They have been tr dealing and experimenting in the silent instrument industry for many, many years. And as they move forward, they keep bringing better and better quality instruments to the market that are silent. Why do you want silent instruments, you ask? Well, they're practice instruments for sure, but I can tell you firsthand that you can tour with them. They're very good on stage. They don't feed back. They usually sound incredible because they're focused on just bringing the sound of the instrument through the pickup that's on board the, the instrument. So that's a big plus. They're not concentrating on anything acoustic. They're concentrating on making a non-acoustic item sound like it's real. And they do it very, very well. So let's take a look at this guitar. Single zip here. And inside we'll see the instrument. Tucked neatly away there. This instrument is for sale and comes from Fantasy Music. So you look at this and we say, uh oh, there's only half a guitar here. Well, there's not. There's more than half. In another pocket of the inst of the uh, bag, you have this upper frame. It fits in these two holes, like so. Boom and boom. Once you have that in place, it's just a matter of tightening these these knobs right here. Get it, lo loosen this one first, where we can get it in there. There we go. Boom. That's not coming out. And then over here, same thing. Make sure that's down in there good. And you just tighten the nut. And bang, you have a whole guitar. Now, there's a big difference between this silent guitar and the one that I used to play, and I used to play it live, was this instrument is made out of some seriously nice tone wood. The first generations of this guitar were made out of, you know, possibly second grade mahogany and and uh, the, the finish wasn't anything special, it was just a matte finish and stuff like that. But the this new version of this guitar is absolutely stunning. Uh, you've gone traveling down the fretboard here, you can see that it's made out of beautiful rosewood. Very nice, very nice neck. And then the body chamber is mahogany. And you can see this nice, this beautiful sunburst finish on it. Inside this main body, if we turn the guitar over, you can see that it's, it's sort of a solid piece with the electronics being housed in the back here. There's a chamber in here that has a microphone, as well as a piezo, which lives under the saddle. The f other huge difference about this guitar from the old one I used to play was that this frame used to just be graphite because they wanted it to be they wanted it to be indestructible and indeed it was but it was just a black piece of graphite so it wasn't really much to look at now these frames are made out of real uh, five ply rosewood you can actually see if you look closely you can actually see the ply lines. So it's a laminate, it's a laminate, but it's a nice, it's a very nice, high quality laminate, 
five ply with a rosewood veneer on the outside of it and it's beautiful so it's real wood and uh, I made a I made an interesting observation the first time I plugged this thing in over at Fantasy was that when you're handling it when it's plugged in it sounds like a real guitar because this is all wood now it actually acts like a, an acoustic guitar plugged in you can hear your hands moving over the surface of this. I mean, you couldn't do that before. In the old graphite, it didn't translate any sound at all. But this frame does. And of course, you get this beautiful piece of mahogany here. And the only thing that's plastic on this is this pickguard. And I would say that's probably a good idea. You'll never have to replace it that way. And of course, the housing in the back is, is plastic as well. It'll keep it lightweight. The jack is metal. That's a big plus. It's a metal housing in the jack. And uh, it even has 9-volt power. If you don't want to stick a battery in it and you're practicing at home, you just plug it into the wall. The next thing I should probably show you is, well, let's take a look at this neck, too, while we're here. This is a really nice mahogany neck. It's, it's, a, it's a satin finish, so it's very, very smooth. It's easy on the hands. We've got, the, uh, we've got condensation on this guitar. It was cold outside. But uh, we've got the Yamaha standard tuners. And uh, the bolt that holds the neck in is also your strap button, as well as on the back. It's also the strap button. So like, everything is used on this guitar. So let's take a look close up at the controls here. We have a battery drawer here, which is which this guitar, this guitar takes two double A's. They're very power efficient, these instruments. And you've got an on and off button which turns the whole system on. And you've got an onboard tuner, your volume control, the blend between your pickup and your microphone, treble bass, and you can actually use an auxiliary that you can send uh, or send out to, I believe. Um, uh, and also, you have an onboard, uh, onboard effects, which would be reverb, two types of reverb, and a, and a, what is that? Course. Now, mind you, a guy like me who would use this guitar on stage in, in a normal setting, I would never use the onboard effects or send an auxiliary or any of those things. But that's just me. Uh, this is very useful for many people who don't have perhaps an amplifier that they like. Uh, Yamaha effects are generally very, very high quality. So I don't use it, but that doesn't mean a thing. It just means that I don't use it. Uh, but you might really enjoy it. Uh, everything on this is bone or tusk. I can't remember which which it is, but this none of this is plastic. And uh, the, the bridge is also rosewood or possibly ebony. Uh, looks like rosewood. but And, of course, the string ends are pull-through. There are no bridge pegs. So, very easy to string this instrument. Uh, I want to make another note here. If you close up on this bridge, we see the same sort of idea as you see on the Yaris with their direct couple bridge. The angle of these strings going back into the holes causes extra pressure on the saddle, which is probably one of the reasons why the piezo sounds so good on this guitar, because the, the way it's designed is creating a lot of pressure on that saddle, which is pressing down on the piezo, uh, which in turn uh, gives you a richer, fuller sound with less rattles and cacking and all the things that piezos do. So there's a close-up of the guitar, and um, it really is a fun guitar. It's it's easy to hold, play. It, it, the the neck is uh, to die for. You can hear how quiet it is when it's not plugged in. You could sit and practice on this all day right beside somebody and they'd never even know it. And if you plug the headphones in, <laughs> you've got full-on concert guitar sound right in your head. So, what do you do with a sonic guitar besides play it live on stage and love it because it's cool and beautiful? How about we put it through a desktop reference amplifier? 
<laughs> I forgot they gave me the magic one. Uh, this is the THR 30 uh, Mark II acoustic Yamaha desktop reference amp. So this is what we're going to use to hear our silent guitar. Now this amplifier is fairly amazing. It's not the most powerful instrument uh, amplifier in the world. You'd never use this on stage unless you're, well, you just, I don't think you really would. Uh, but for, to have, an, to have an amplifier in your studio or your practice space or whatever that can give you a clean, beautiful sound out of your uh, picked up instrument. There's a lot to be said about that. If you if you have an instrument that can be plugged in, uh, and you're not on stage or in a big practice space, or you don't want to blow your walls out with your normal stage amp, but you still want the inspiration of hearing the sound of your pickup and your guitar coming through a well processed amp, and you just want that nice, you just want the tone, and you want the, it's in, it's the inspiration you're looking for. This is what you need. This is a very cool, very small, compact, light. It can sit anywhere in a room, and if you want to plug a guitar into it and hear what that guitar sounds like, clean as a whistle, boom, you've got this. Now let's take a look at this thing, because this thing has so many features on it that I'm a little overwhelmed by it, and I love, you know, gadgets, but this thing does a million things. Let's start over here. The first thing we have is this little window here, which uh, is your holds your tuner and a metronome that you control with this button. It turns the tuner off and on. You can tap time on this, and there's a metronome in there for it. Uh, also, we have five full uh, slots for memorizing memory of what you set this amp to you can set up to five presets you have a power button of course and then you have this little fellow here which is really cool it's a knob that changes this uh it's a free spinning knob of course there's no marker on it because when you turn it when the power is on these lights come on and you have five different settings you have flat you have a setting specifically for nylon strings you have a tube mic setting, a dynamic mic setting, and a condenser mic setting. And these are models, right? So flat is flat. You're just going to hear the flat single signal and whatever you do with your EQ. But these tube dynamic and condenser mic models are really nice. And they they mimic a lot of the, uh, the modeling that occurs in some of Yamaha's other guitar pickups, which are amazing. Uh, there's one system, and I can't remember which one it is, right off the top of my head, but it's a, there's two Neumanns and a Royer ribbon mic modeled on board on the, in, the, in this pickup system they use. Uh, so, back to the amplifier. We also have a control here for, for normal, wide, and wider stereo image. So, that's kind of cool, too, and you can hear it when you, when you manipulate it. Uh, and then we have dry and wet tone blend, which means how much of this goes into your sound. So if you want very little of this, you just turn it down to all the way dry, or you can put it up the middle. And then you have the common bass, middle, and treble, EQs, and two different effects. You have coarse, coarse and delay, and delay. And there, as you can see, they grow larger as you turn it, and then the, then the effect switches, and and it grows larger again until it switches again into delay and this increases your effects that way so you've got short and long reverb course course delay and delay by itself you have volume your master reverb and your master volume so also over here i mean we have so many things going on here you have an auxiliary in so let's say you wanted to play maybe you had backing tracks right and you got them on your ipod or your phone if it has a if it has a 3.5 millimeter jack you can plug your phone or your ipod right into this and play that device right through the speaker while you're playing the guitar through the speaker as well 
It also has an, a headphone output and, an, and a, a Nutric uh, microphone input with a very good preamp in it. So these two, these two buttons here are for the mic and you have a mic instrument gain setting. So, and then there's your standard volume for your guitar gear. Another thing that this thing does that is also blows my mind is it's wireless ready. So it will pick up, uh, Yamaha built, bought uh, Line 6, I believe is the company they purchased. And it's, it has a receiver in it for like a G10 transmitter. If you use G10 wireless systems, this has a, a receiver already in it for that, for that system. Also, which is so many things, and it's Bluetooth capable. As you can see here by our user memory buttons, we have a Bluetooth pairing button. So if you want to use your iPod or whatever to play your backing tracks, you can do it through Bluetooth. The other thing that Bluetooth does with this device is there is a whole app that you can download on your phone or your iPad. And when you turn the app on and connect it to the amp through Bluetooth, the app shows all the controls. Everything that it does is in one window. And you can adjust everything with a, you know, just with a poke. And you've got things adjusted the way you want it. You can save your settings. You can do all these things. It's, for me personally, it's total overkill but for somebody who likes gadgets and messing around man you this is the most feature filled amplifier i've ever seen uh it does everything so um on the back we have lines out this would be if you wanted to use this live you could go out to your sound system it also has, uh, there's your your power input supply, and this little fella here, this is the next thing it does, it has a USB connection. So you could connect this to your computer and use the amplifier as an interface, a preamp for your guitar directly into Cubase. Now, it only works with Cubase, as far as I'm told. So, again, that lets me out, because I'm a Pro Tools user. So... But if you're a Cubase user, this thing is awesome. You can plug it right directly into your computer and it becomes an input in your session. And you have all this power to, to mess with your guitar signal. I'm probably missing things that this thing does. It's crazy all the things that it does. But the where the proof is in the pudding for me is when I finally get it hooked up, and I'll be honest with you, took us two days to figure out how to even get it to work because there were so many th there were so many things on it and I went ooh and we had the guitar plugged in the wrong place and we had this wrong and that wrong and finally when we get it working when a dumbass figures out how to get everything working I was blown away by the by the sound of it it's it's really a great sounding amp it's not loud it's not overpowering you'd never be able to drown out another amp on stage with it or anything but that's not what it's for it's for having all these tools and all these colors for yourself personally in your private space or studio. And it's easy to use once you figure it all out. It's simple as pie. And with the app involved as well, which I haven't downloaded because I just don't have a use for it. But that doesn't mean you don't. And I know people love this kind of stuff. So anyhow, I'm going to plug this bad boy in over here and I'm going to play the silent guitar through it because what better way to hear this amplifier when your source has no acoustic sound. So we're truly going to see what this thing does. With a great piezo pickup, which Yamaha, Yamaha has in this instrument, and just, we're going to mic it up and see what it sounds like. So here we go. Okay guys, we got it all set up over there. And uh, you, can, you can see what I've got done. I think I have it on a condenser. Uh, the width is normal. Uh, got some reverb on it. It's, it's I put a about a quarter of bass, really remove some mid and treble. And uh, on the silent guitar, I'm I'm flat with a with a right up the middle between the PO uh, the PU and the mic. Uh, as you can see, the volume button here too. Uh, that one, this little fella right here. So it's not very loud 
I can tell you that right now. It is not a loud amp, but it's the sound of it that's convincing, right? So let's take a listen. I'm going to turn off this other mic so you can only hear that Aston. And uh, it'll just be picking up the one amp. So we'll mute my normal mic. And here is the amplifier. super super clean so the thing I, the, the, the only thing that I've noticed that you know that I that I would that I you would use on this that really does some strange and wonderful things is this width button when we turn this up into wide it seems to change the stereo image of the guitar <laughs> So there you go. There's a, uh, jeez, I don't know what to say. I actually watched the playback of the of this film and was was surprised by the sound of that amp through a microphone. Right? It's uh, it's not a loud amp. It's thirty watts, right? The THR thirty, and so thirty watts is a very small amount of power to be dealing with, but. Truly, the the versatility of what it does, I mean, is impressive as hell. And it is so compact and kind of, it just kind of draws you in. I don't myself really uh, use gear like this, um, but I find myself being drawn uh, just after that little bit of time playing through it. I find myself drawn to mess with it some more, right? And just hearing it and hearing this guitar through it, it gave me ideas. And I think that's that's part of Yamaha's charm. Yamaha is, that's what they're all about. It, whether they're building uh, uh, snowmobiles or L56 guitars, like they're, they're about inspiring you to do something you normally wouldn't do, right? And this guitar here, I mean, uh, I could play this through my stage amp and it would sound even larger yet. This THR 30 is a, more of a genteel, uh, you know, effects-based, toy-based, all kinds of playthings that you can do with your instrument. This guitar, I can guarantee you, is a workhorse if you took this on stage and plugged it through like the things that i use on stage or plugged it directly into a head or a di i mean it, it sounds humongous so 
I mean, I just love these things. I, at this point in my career, I'm not sure if I'll ever go back on the road like I was. So, you know, uh, it's not something I would <laughs> see myself playing because I don't know if I'll ever be playing live again the way I was. But I'm telling you, if you're, if you're in a situation with a big band, or which I have been uh, many, many times, or, or a lot of amps on stage or whatever, you plug this thing in, you can cut through anything. And I find the sound of the silent guitar right now and this new pickup and mic, uh, mic setup they have in the body is a better sound than they've ever had. It's, it's grown quite unique. And so there you go. There's my take on a very cool instrument. It's just cool. You can't, you can't take that away from it. It's very cool. There's lots of other instruments out there that, uh, that are silent. And, uh, but there's nothing quite like these. These really emulate playing an acoustic guitar. When you hold this thing up against you, you feel like you've got a guitar in your hands. It doesn't feel like a stick, like it looks. And, uh, aesthetically, it's very pleasing, too. So... I just, I really wanted to show this to you guys. I know that I'm working a lot with acoustic instruments, right? So that's important. Uh, the, and the most important thing to me. But I, I really feel like stuff like this we should look at from time to time just because it's different. And if you want a cool, inspirational toy in your practice space, you know, something that'll that'll get your brain out of whatever rut it may be into, getting an instrument like this will do that. And it'll make you think differently. And it, it presents a whole different level of freedom in your thinking. Because your the, the call and response of playing is changed by utilizing an instrument like this that has no acoustic sound. You plug it into something or plug your headphones into it. All of a sudden you're in this private world. And that's a real healthy place to be as a guitar player. You can find yourself inventing all kinds of things just by virtue of using an instrument like this one. So there you go. So the next time you're uh, going to take a long car ride or a train ride, or I don't think they like to whip one of these out on a plane, but you never know if we ever do fly again, uh, uh, you, there, you, this could be your ticket. You get on the Greyhound, you get a drive to Toronto from... Halifax, and you just play the guitar for two days, and nobody will ever know. <laughs> My special thanks goes out to Yamaha Canada for making these things available to me and to you. And uh, if you like what you see here on Guitar Stuff with John, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. If you want to send us some moolah, the links are in the description below, as well as the websites for all of my partners, including Yamaha. And uh, there you go, the Yamaha Silent Guitar and the THR30 Mark II Acoustic Amplifier uh, right here in the old uh, Guitar Stuff with John studio. So we'll see you next time, and uh, I will bring more cool things to make you go, Ooh.